This is the management of post-operative delirium. Your initial management should be non-pharmacologic first. You want to frequently orient the patient, reassure them that surgery is over, that they are safe and okay, ensure proper pain control, provide visual and hearing aids as needed, and you should check for fecal and urinary retention and relieve them if it's there. You should evaluate for metabolic abnormalities and rule out stroke or other more serious causes. There are some pharmacologic treatments like Haldol, but you should only use those for refractory cases. Postoperative delirium is more common in elderly patients greater than 65 years old, and there are two subtypes. You could be hyperactive, which is easier to detect, or hypoactive, which is more common and harder to detect. Some risk factors, as we said, being elderly, greater than 65, multiple comorbidities, severe illness, cognitive impairment, having an active infection, or visual or hearing impairments. The postoperative delirium can, be, can begin immediately or can be delayed by up to several days, and it can be worsened by common medications like opioids, anticholinergics, and antihistamines. It's generally associated with poor outcomes. These patients will have higher mortality, increased institutionalization, higher costs, functional decline, and poor surgical outcomes. One more note on pharmacologic treatment, dexmedetomidine or Presidex is not recommended for adults. Um, it officially is only used for, in children, although it, it still is used in adults even though it's not recommended.